Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the cast estate and we are ready to push forward into the curve to fight possibly the collector but also the drowned crew. I put together a team that I think is pretty ready for this. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's the most conventional team for the job but these guys should be able to get it done. We're bringing out Griffin, our anointed, with the abilities of the crushed hemlock to uh, do a little bit of extra damage there. Although, looking at that now, I've, I've just created this little party here together. And honestly, we might actually take off the crushed hemlock and swap it for such as outright damage. Because we're mainly using range. Either that or we could go with the stick man. Uh, which would give us debuff resist as well as um, crits received, which is very nice. Which would work really well with this here. Um, low speed, low crit and extra crits received. Do you know what? Yeah, let's let's try that out. Start that off and see if that's see if that works out for us. Um, he doesn't exactly need too much extra damage there. Then we've got our Butcher Nevada, the legend. Um, he's coming in with the um, Impaling Strike, Cripple. He's going in with his Crushed Hemlock. He's going to be doing a lot of melee, uh, and along with the um, the Scribe's Sword, which I'm a little apprehensive about using. But we get um, extra crit versus marks and extra armor piercing. I've been kind of looking around and thinking if there's anything here that might be better than that. And I'm really struggling to see what might work better. Because apparently marked, uh, like Mark Synergy isn't super, super strong against um, the Drowned Crew. We do have a bit of a Mark Synergy going on with this team. But I'm not really sure what else would really benefit us. I mean, I could go with the flat out something like a Focus Ring. Um, that could work. It's kind of a... One that's a little bit up in the air. Or I could just go with more prot and a bit more stress reduction. Um, it, yeah, it's a difficult one. Or I could go with something like this. A bit of extra prot, but also um, blight attacker on hit. Let's go with that, actually. Let's try that out. Then we've got uh, Yatsu, our sisters, who's coming in with the extra blight skill chance, extra stress healing, and the changed Brass Boogle, which used to be minus 50% stress received, but now it's minus 20% stress received and plus 25% stress healing, mixed with another 30% stress healing skill there, which should make this skill here, which is going to be the main skill that we use there, we're going to be using Weed Out along with Blossom. Weed Out for the Mark and Blight, and then Blossom for the healing and stress heal to give some insanely good stress healing. Then Petra's here with the main healing and the, uh, the last light coming in there. Uh, along with her disease, Grey Rot, to give her that massive bonus to uh, maximum HP. Uh, as well as the medical um, blend for curing Blight and Bleed. And then we've got Diagnosis just for a debuff and a mark in case we want to use that. I think this should be a pretty good setup. Uh, everyone seems to be in a position where they can get hits off relatively easily. The only thing I'm worried about is Yatsu's stress, but hopefully the amount of stress reduction and stress healing we've got should counteract that. So let's uh, jump on into this one. We'll grab ourselves this, this, and then we'll get um, seven. You know, we'll get eight of those. We'll get six and six and six uh, and six. Not, uh, I'm not going to get any of them. Actually, no. Do you know what? We'll take we'll take six of these as well because of the because um, of the bloody violin guys that are really really annoying. So not exactly sure how this is going to go, but we'll jump on in. We do have one diary entry today, which we'll get into just after this. Slept off their revelry. I hexed their anchor with every twisted incantation I could muster, imbuing it with the weight of my ambition and my contempt for their crude extortion. At the witching hour, the anchor pulled with preternatural force, dragging craft and crew down into the depths. They must have cried out, but no sound escaped the swirling black waters. My God. But yeah, just one thing I want to I want to mention before we get into this diary entry. This series is now once a week rather than twice a week. Normally, it comes out on Tuesdays and Fridays. It's going to return to just being a Friday series for two reasons. One, I've got pretty a pretty full on schedule with Isaac going at the minute, as you guys will probably have seen. But also, we don't have as many active writers at the moment, so giving people an extra few days to write their diary entries and backstories, I feel, will help. If any of you want to get involved, make sure to join the Discord and let me know. It'd be great to have even more writers on board. But let's get into the first diary entry here by ah yes this guy again and this is by fragment there seems to be some strange runes glowing near the glowing farmstead the sleeping one is finally waking for in its long slumber temple rifts are starting to appear only the sleeping one knows what it mean uh, what may come out of it 
This vessel shall stop those with the intent on destroying the innocent. However, from what may many have told this vessel, there are also possible allies. May the sleeping one be on our side. Indeed, let it be on our side. Let's jump on in. I'm excited to go with this crew. Nevada is someone we haven't used in a long time. He he left us for a while, but came back in, in just amazing fashion uh, with one of the best missions we've ever been on. And yeah, I think this is a pretty interesting crew. Uh, we got that Blight heal, which is a uh, Blight and Bleed heal, which is super, super valuable. Um, which is kind of like the number one thing that I wanted. But also, yeah, we've, we're getting to use our Anointed, which we haven't really done much of yet too, which is nice. So we'll get Weed out on you for that massive Blight and the Mark, which is going to make these two really good. If we take a little look at some attacks here, we've got this one here, which is plus 66% damage uh, on Mark targets with armor piercing. Uh, and then here, we've got plus 75%. Uh, and plus 15 accuracy on that attack. So both of these are really good. Or we could go straight out with the debuff. I think we're just going to go for the kill straight off the bat. Um, didn't quite get it, but we're very close. Uh, I think that um, Nevada should be able to hopefully finish off that kill for us here. Um, and of course, what we are going to do here is buff up the party with big heals um, from our candle. As well as that uh, extra prot that we, that we get. Very, very nice. There's that huge hit there. Nice one. We did, they did move these two around, but I don't think that matters too much. I think we can do our moves from pretty much anywhere. This guy being protected is slightly annoying, but not all that bad. So this time we are going to use this. We will get um, a repose here, but that did stop you from being guarded. I do believe that breaks guard. Uh, yeah, breaks guard, as you saw. Uh, but also we get a minus six speed debuff, a minus eight crit, and a plus um, a plus six to crits received. It's a very, very good debuff for us. We'll definitely get that on you because that's almost a guaranteed kill. Um, and we should see, at least out of these front two, a lot more crits coming our way. We've also got the hemlock on there for a little bit of extra blight damage. It's not the best thing in the world, but an extra four damage on a hit's really nice. We'll go for another one of those, get everyone healed up. And we do have a bit of prot on these front two as well because they're going to be taking the, the bulk of the damage. We'll break that guard again there. And you'll probably get a disease on us, most likely, won't you? Nope, we'll get the dodge. Very, very nice. Um, we're going to go and weed you out. Oh, wrong one, but it works. It works indeed. We'd get a debuff there. We, we could we could change Murd here, though, but I don't feel it's super necessary. Um, he's trying to push his way to the front, which isn't a terrible problem, but it does mean that he can't use his Impaling Strike um, as easily, which is slightly annoying. We'll finish you off. I know that you'd die to Blight either way, but still. I don't want the repost. We'll get the repost here, but we're getting the debuff on and breaking that guard. So now we've got quite a lot of extra crits received. 12 on this guy. Um, I think we carry on with the, the buffing to prot just in case. Get it up to 30 and 20% across the board. And this guy. Going to be keeping on that guard, but we should be okay. He's not buffing his prot at all. He does have 50% already, so it's nice to see he's not uh, doing that. And when Nevada gets hit there, as you see, retaliate with some blight. Really nice. But this guy being marked should mean that we can get some good damage off here. In fact, let's go for that again, shall we? There you go. 12 damage on that, and then these two should be able to finish this off relatively easily. With more blight. And there's 14 damage. That's very good stuff. And 14 Blight as well. He's dead next turn, pretty much. I don't think he can heal himself at all, so we're pretty good to go here. As long as you're attacking Nevada, we don't really care, because you're always going to receive a hefty amount of Blight. That You've actually just killed yourself there. Um, so we can renew here, which will heal all of our allies. We might as well do that. We finish off with that. We're up to 27 stress here, but everyone else's stress is at zero. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll just do that, I guess. Give you another mark. Why not? Minus 45 dodge, and there's the kill. You are dead to Blight as well. Very good first little battle there. Very, very good indeed. Everyone performed very well. Like I said, Nevada is going to be pushing to the uh, to the front here with um, Eager to Fight, which is a slight shame because it's going to mean that one of his moves isn't usable. But for the most part, it shouldn't matter. We did get ourselves a Mako, which is Miko Mako. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but either way, these enemies, we came across them before. Very difficult. Just keep on Blighting. Uh, it's very important that we do so. We got that mark on there early as well, so we should be able to get the extra damage off of both of these guys. In fact, let's go for the heavy damage there. He does have prot, but I do believe that 
one of you maybe has some extra armor piercing. Or maybe we got rid of that. Maybe we got rid of that. Uh, so here we definitely want the prot across the board. This guy can hit very, very hard and he has a quite a big HP base. There's probably going to be some good stress coming in from these two in the back line as well. So it might be worth just trying to get rid of those. So let's, uh, let's start off with that. Get the debuff on those back two. Not the best in the world, but sent for blood. Okay, that's going to bleed us most likely. We did resist. Good, good. Call of the Deep. Okay, that's a problem. This guy's got some big buffs on him now. So we can do this, and this will heal us for, yeah, 19 stress. It gives us five back, but that should that should allow us to manage our stress very easily here. And he's still marked, so nice crit. Very nice to see. We just keep going for these. Um, and you've got two rounds of mark left on you, so we don't need to do that quite yet. Let's just keep on buffing that prot up. Carry on with that. These two in the back are going to be problematic for stress. We're just going to have to leave them and let them do their thing. We need to kill the Mako, Miko, whatever you want to call it, Mako, as quickly as possible because of those very hard hits that you can see. Um, as you can see, we're not doing a lot of damage here, so we need to be very careful here. Um, I think we go for this, get the restoration on you, and then go for a across-the-board heal in just a moment. Yeah, that really isn't doing too much, is it? Really isn't doing too much. We got that extra accuracy on it, but it's not doing so hot. Do get that extra damage there, though. And now we're going to have to reapply that mark. First of all, though, let's get you full health. I was close to. Thank you. Accusation coming in once more. We don't really care that much about this, especially the horror, because we can get it rid of it with some loudenum. I'm really hoping that he hits um, that he hits Nevada here, but he's just not wanting to, is he? He did buff his prop by 25% there, which is problematic. I'm going to go for a mark on this guy, uh, just to get our damage output going. Buffs it quite a bit. Doomsday coming in. Little bit of uh, stress on everyone. Not too bad. And I think we definitely want to be using Loudenum to get rid of some of that. And we'll finally start building up some stress on uh, some blight on you, sorry. Not some stress, some blight. And we focus on the maker with um, with these two up front here. Um, yeah. It does massively lower his uh, speed and dodge, which is very nice. Feeding Frenzy. Oh, that's a very hard hit. That's a very, very hard hit. I was not expecting that, I have to say. Call to the deep again. This guy's getting buffed up a lot. It's very scary, actually. Very scary. This is a very, very difficult enemy for us to fight. But we should be okay. Um, just keep attacking him. Sadly, he's not really doing much from that position, unfortunately. Um, I think we have to use this on ourselves, Mainly for the stress, but also because we, we do need the healing. I probably should have got rid of that bleed, shouldn't I? That would have been a valuable addition to our uh, to what we're currently doing right now. But we've healed her up a good amount. As long as she doesn't take another one of those hits, she should be okay, even with the bleed. Um, with that mark on you, you're almost dead, but you actually, oh, no way. One. Troll's gonna hurt, but that should blight you. Ah, he resisted, unfortunately. Oh, no, no. Wait, that's still, that'll still kill him, though. That's okay. Doomsday coming in once again. That'll blight you even more, so you're dead now. As you can see, stress has really gotten out of hand. Quite quickly, in fact. Um, so let's get rid of that bleed real quick. And I'm going to do this on myself again. 19 and gives 9. We want to be managing that a little bit better than we currently are. I'm going to finish you off just so you get another turn. And it seemed to get rid of his body straight away as well, which was nice. I don't know if that's a ability of the, uh, of the, of the ability, or if that was just a lucky body got rid of because of the blight or something. Oh, unfortunate. He's dead anyways, but still. Would have rather have hit that than not. So the next few battles, we're going to have to focus with Yatsu to make sure we build up as much, um, really, another miss. Oh my god, this is bad. Focus as much stress healing on the entire group as possible. Can't believe this guy's still still kicking it. There you go, we got him. And I think we want to be taking our damage on this guy here. I think that gives us bonus to, oh, bonus to pro, okay. Not what I was expecting. Oh wait, no, that not a bonus at all. Was that, just, was that just a stress heal? I think that was just a stress heal. Probably not the best person to use that on, was it? Um, I think, wait a minute. One, two, so one, two, three, four, five. So that's five rooms away, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, it's got to be this way. 
got to be this way. Let's quickly rearrange again. I, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake with Butcher here, not being able to use his move. This guy has to die straight away. Let's get the surprise. Nah. Um, yeah, let's stress heal ourselves here. 19 on stress heal is very good. Does mean we're not going to get the mark right off the bat. That's a pretty hearty hit there. And accusation to follow it up. Can you not, please? Can you not? <laughs> that was a, a very, very horrible first turn. Oh, God. This is just a terrible first turn. Wow. This was unbelievably bad. Okay, get you on the 22. Very nice. Wow, this was unbelievably bad. I think I've got to get rid of you and just make sure you're gone. Give them no quarter. We probably will end up getting some stress checks here. It's very likely at this point. I didn't think it was going to be, but it very much seems that way. Everyone needs their healing again. Like, Yatsu can heal stress a bit, but she can't clear horror, I don't think. Unless... Wait a minute. Does her ability clear horror? It does. We should probably put that on. We should probably put that on after this fight. Um, Unfortunately, we can't do that. I'm just going to swap these two around just so I can do that next turn. Doomsday is going to hurt. But it does blight you, so that's okay. We're just coming in here with a lot and a lot of stress. I'm going to do this. Set up the debuffs. Might be a little bit late. I can't remember what this guy does. Maddening Shaunt, whatever it's called. Okay, that's not too bad. We can't let him attack again, though. <laughs> ah, this is bad. This is so bad. He's going to be able to attack again, and we're going to get absurd stress. We've already got a one stress check coming in here. Like, no doubt about it. Oh, this has been stressful. This guy, he just has so much HP, and he's, he's going to get his next attack off as well, which is saddening. We definitely need that clear horror, though, in the future. Because we're going to get a lot of horror coming up in just a moment. Especially with Doomsday on top of it. Like, what a, what a horrible grouping of enemies to get. Thank you for hitting. Thank you, Butcher, indeed. We needed that. We really did. See you with Slash... Hurts a bit, but it's not too bad. Unfortunately, he is going to get um, the off-kill to jig, jig, which is just terrible amounts of stress. I can't believe that it deals stress and the horror as well. It's just absurd. It's absurd how strong that is. Okay, I think he's dead now, though. We're going to have to use this on every single person here. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to use this on every person. My god. Stress levels are higher than I would expect at this point. I probably should have brought some Virtue Trinkets. I forget how bad stress is around, around here. So definitely get rid of that. And we got 72, 76. So you're highest right now. You're on 70 now. We're managing it. Okay, but it's when it, when there's two stress dealers in the party, it's just too much for us. We can't deal with it. We're up to 12. You're dead. Good. And then you're finished. Good, good. Come on, get some crits. Give some stress heals. Damn. There you go. Stress heal yourself a little bit. And to 58. The blood quickens. And there's a crit as well. Should give us some stress healing. There we go. A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Oh my goodness. This has been this has been stressful. So we probably want to uh, remove that and put that on. I didn't realize how valuable it was going to be, but it seems very. Uh, we're going to have to do some more stress healing than I was expecting. Oh, he's going to touch it. Luckily, it ended up being good for us. We got ourselves Thick Blood, which is replacing Fleet on Foot. I think Fleet on Foot's better, unfortunately, but Blight Resist is still nice. I'm not going to complain about that too much. Unfortunate Trap Hit there. Ancient and there it is. 28 on the Trap Hit. Come on, Petra. Abusive. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We can maybe get rid of that before the boss, but it's unlikely. We'll see. Especially when we don't get battles. We don't get fights. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's impossible we can get rid of it before the boss fight at this point. 
Okay, these guys. No, that's so bad for us. I can't believe you just did that. You absolute shit. That is so bad for us. Right, lower their speed, or at least some of them's speed. I can't believe how badly that just went. Right, maddening wine on her. Really? Do you have to? An extra 16 stress. Oh my god. My god. Can you get can I have a turn, please? Could I have a turn, please? Please, sir. May I have a turn? Just gotta get rid of both of those. And purpose is made clear. Oh my god! Let me have a turn! I just want to stress heal. She's so stressed. God damn it. This could have been so good. You ruined everything. Stop it with your stupid whining. Don't get blighted. Oh my god. You are just taking everything, aren't you? Oh, and you missed on that as well? Could you not, please? That's not enough stress healing to be worth it, is it? Tend to not get proton healing on everyone. That was probably a really terrible decision on my heart on my behalf there. In fact, we might have just killed Yatsu. We might have just killed Yatsu. Shit. <laughs> that was a really bad decision. Really bad decision. My god. Okay, first of all, get rid of both of those real quick. Oh my goodness. Heal myself up. Well, it, it won't actually heal me, but we're on one. Come on, we need Petra to go. I've got to do... I, I hate this, but I've got to do it. I need you to be at far higher HP here. Oh, this is going so poorly, people. This is going so poorly. Butcher Nevada just didn't work the way I planned him to at all, unfortunately. Right, we need the, we need the, the party heal here. Stop getting stressed out, everyone. Please. Oh my god. Fairy Blast coming in. That could give us some stuns, right? I can never remember. Yeah, that's the one that stuns. That's the one that stuns. Wait, that's a group stress heal? Oh my god, I didn't realize that. I should have been using that a lot more often. Ow! Please stop. Okay, now we've barely done any damage to any en any of the enemies. Which is just horrible. And the stress keeps building. I realize Yatsu, we could we should be switching between modes with her, and that's why the stress is building. But we we need we need the um the stress heal on her for everyone else. Oh, this is so bad. This is going so poorly. Oh, I'm stressed out. I'm very stressed out. Stop stressing everyone out, Petra. God damn it. At least she's not done anything with her abusive yet. Oh my god, why does no one hit Nevada as well? Nevada would be blighting the hell out of everything, but no one wants to hit. Yeah, defensive wine, don't do that. Go for another one of them on you. We might be able to do it. We might be able to get rid of it. Not before the boss fight, honestly. Just keep keep doing this. The, the buff to speed is great, but the stress heal is very important. Right, need to get rid of this big dude. Oh, why does it have to be a crit? Why does it have to be a fucking crit? I'm getting so stressed out. Just stop it. Please just stop it. Everyone else is going to get a stress check here. I just know it. Okay. Everyone's full health now. Good. I did give us a, a good stress heal there. Ow. Don't bleed us. Oh my god, you bled both of us? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh my god. Don't hit him! Why'd you bleed me? Why'd you have to do it? I gotta get rid of stressing some other guys first. Only 10 damage on you. Bleed, bleed, bleed. 
This is 10 stress healing. I think we do it on ourselves. Now we're at 25. Okay, that was 14, actually. I don't know where we're getting the 14 from, but I'm happy about it. Why do you have to stress her out? I just healed her. But God, and you stunned her as well. This is terrible. You're just stress healing. That's all you do. Give everyone insane speed. Thanks for dodging that. That's very useful for me. <laughs> Stop stressing everyone out. My goodness. we got to use this on ourselves. Lower that a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I hate it. Please die, you stupid motherfucker. 18 crits received. Where's the crits at, people? Where's the crits at? 18%. We got it down to 22. We're getting there. You're going to do that again, though. Oh, no. What? Reinforcements? Shit. I was not paying attention. I was not expecting that. Okay, she's down to two. We need to get some kills going. How bled are you, woman? Calm down. Okay, affliction gone. Fucking hits me for 18. Great. Holy sugar. Oh my god, my stress levels are through the roof. Just leave everyone be. My god, please. We killed an enemy. Oh my god, it's done. We killed something. Don't stun him, thank god. Okay, stress healed a good amount there. And get both of you. That was a very good play there. I feel very good about that. I gotta get rid of you. I know that I know that Petra could die here if we're not careful. Gotta heal myself up. Sorry guys. Everyone else is at full. Why do you keep attacking Petra with crits? Just leave her alone! Oh my goodness. Why is no one attacking Nevada? We need the we need the stress reduction. It's it's sad, but we really do. Well, of course we're at one HP. Oh my goodness. This has been hellish. But never hidden. This is just a callway battle as well. That's the worst thing about this. Ow. You gotta go. Dude! Nevada, why? Why can't you just hit a simple target? Please, you're laying the whole side down. My goodness. Okay. Then we blossom on you. Okay. That worked out. We actually managed to handle stress quite well there. But that was still just insanely stressful. Just insanely stressful. Oh my god. Push on to the task's end. Oh. Holy hell. <laughs> my life. My poor life. Oh my goodness. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy. Right. Companion. One companion. No, doesn't okay, none of those really matter. Self produce random supply. Self only. Extra crit and speed, they're not great either. Um Do you know what? I'm going to go for that and then just remove it. Party remove disease. Honestly, I, I'm fine with the disease that I have right now. Oh my goodness. 
Just get rid of stress, I think. And then... Who needs healing received most? Honestly, let's just give Petra extra healing received. Why not? And then... Yeah, eight food. Cool. My goodness. The way is lit. The path is clear. Are we ready? Oh my god. At least we didn't come across the collector, but we still got one hallway left. Okay, no fight. No fight. Good. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? The boss is over there? No! Ah, the pin. The pin. Did I miscount the rooms? Oh my goodness. Oh, that is, that feels, that feels real bad. <laughs> that feels real, real bad. One, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, and that'd be our fifth. One, two, three, four, and that'd be our fifth. Okay, because it could have been either. I guessed wrong. God damn it. <laughs> We've got two battles on the way. The thing is, one of those could be the collector. The, the thing that I'm more worried about is our torch situation. Okay, we've got 13. We're not terribly, the terribly bad off. Struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, my God. <sighs> this has been... This has been so stressful. 70, 180. You definitely go for that. Get that stress relief going. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we know that we can shovel this safely as well. Got plenty of shovels going. We move through. Next battle. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Bad bad start, but we did get the surprise. I think we have to go like that on you. Get the mark, but also get the blight started. We do that. We get the debuff started as well. Everyone gets their double debuffs. And we start stress healing there. We don't need the pro yet, I don't think. And Nevada, you can go for an attack on this guy. Not the best in the world, but I'll take it. Good dodge. These guys are all going to get double turns in a row. That is a horrible, horrible hit. Wow, 20. Half our HP. Okay, that's a good person to hit because he's low stress and it's going to blight you. So if any, if you're gonna hit anyone, no way. You can't be, you can't be serious. Okay, we do have a, an anti thing against this though. We can break guard and also double debuff this dude. Let's go for a big heal on you. We actually fully healed. Very nice. Okay, hit you. I'm hoping the blight really does a lot. I'm gonna weed out again on you. I know it's going to stress us out and we didn't do any stress relief, but getting you dead as soon as possible is very valuable. Because you are, you're going to get this turn off. I know that for a fact, unfortunately. That's going to hurt. Mm, not as much as I thought. Not as much as I thought. That's not nice. Here comes the horror, but we can actually cure horror off of people now. So that's not as bad, but not, not a lot of horror. I'm going to turn over here, de-stress ourselves, and get this going. To move us into position, but also to do a lot of damage. I'm just going to do this again, honestly. This is working out great. Get rid of you, because you got it 5 over 4. It's better to get rid of it on you. We'll do you next. In fact, let's go with a speed buff. We really should do that first, actually, on every fight. Looking good. Looking good so far. Bit scary, but we should be okay. Bit of bleed coming in. No, we resisted. Nice. There you go. Makes things a hell of a lot easier for us. We can actually focus on some stress healing now. So I think we switch back over. Stress heals ourselves nicely. And we go with a big old stress heal on you. Of 22. Halved your stress. Very, very nice. Go for a big hit on you. We do have guard as well. We haven't really been using our guard all that much. 
Five over two, five over two, five over two. Let's do it on you first. We need a heal coming out next turn, but we're okay for now. Got you. I knew you were going to go for him because he's already bleeding. More bleed. No, we're resisted. Good. Um, I think I'll do this on myself this time. Big old stress heal. I'm getting stressed into a place that's a lot more manageable. I'm going to ally heal here. I think it means we can get everyone back up to full HP. The there you go. Not quite full, but very close to. But never hidden. Nice strike on you. Gotta remember that that's always lowering dodge and speed, which is really, really nice. Oh my goodness. Nice stress reduction there. We've managed to manage stress very well this battle. Well, this this um, outing. Okay, we did get a bottle. I'm going to take that over this. I don't know what it does. Um, stress healing, minus stress, friendly skill, shuffle, target. Kind of interesting. Um, grab that. Power through. We have reliably one more battle to go. Another mariner. Just got to hope it's not the Collector. I'd rather not have the Collector at this point. I knew you were going to take that, but we got the Lasting Impact again. Uh, we got Tormenting. Let's take a look at what that does. Debuff Skill Chance is really good for us. Very good indeed, actually. Okay, keep our light going. I'm actually just going to feed you a little bit. Let's quickly rearrange and feed you a little bit. We've got quite a lot of food that we don't need. You can uh, get rid of that and get your stress heal. Very nice. The light, Pop that. The promise of safety. Scouting. We found our secret room. Probably want to go back for that. Honestly. I see no quarreling going back for that. We've got inventory space to use because we don't need our busts or anything. And it's the first door as well so we can dip in and straight back out. We might get some heads from this. We didn't, but we did get that. Cool. Go back out that way. Easy enough. And right, let's find out if this is the Collector. I'm sure it will be. It always is when we don't want it to be. The good thing is um, we, can, we can blight him and everything, and we might be able to get the surprise. Oh, God. The stress is building. Hello, Collector. Oh, no, it's not, surprisingly. It's very good that we got surprised there. I think we go like that on you. We probably should have done it on the little guy, but I wanted the mark so we can kill him instantly. I think we just stress relief on people here. Good, good. That's, that's you dead. And that's you dead as well. I, I forget that that's armor piercing. Very nice. Get rid of our own stress here. Good, good. You're going to get a shot off on us, are you? You are indeed. Blow down coming in. Dodge? No, no dodge, unfortunately. We'll go for the attack and then the heal on you. We do have food, so it's not as big of a deal. There you go. Back up to almost full. Unfortunate dodge there. Nice one. And there you go. No collector for us, luckily. Right. Let's just take a little look. Do we want this on instead? I think we do. I think we want this on instead. Just to get that extra healing back. When we're hitting. Keep us going. I was debating whether to take it, but I tried to go with a max energy. But Mark isn't really going to work too well against this boss. Right. In we go. Feeling a bit stressed. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders. All hands on deck. Obeys. So we want to be going with weed out on you mainly. You're already blighted quite a bit. Ten over five's great. We keep applying as much blight as we possibly can. I think we just keep party healing for the uh, for the prot here. 
I mean, also the healing, but the prot's more important at the minute. Um, I'm going to try to get the double mark here. We did get it, indeed. Just to make this guy a little easier to kill. That's going to hurt. We'll also do that. Set up that. Nice debuffs there. Good, good. This is a good start. Mutiny. Resisted that. Very nice. Heave 2. That's okay. We should be able to kill this guy relatively easily here. He does keep gaining stress and he keeps gaining healing while they're, uh, while they're latched on. Um, shouldn't scale up too high. We should be okay. We'll see. We'll see. Please help me. I will, dude. Calm down. I think we still go for weed out on you. Nonetheless. And then anointed uh, Griffin. You can take care of that with a single strike, hopefully. Not quite. That did not do anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping it would do. I have to say. Okay, this might this might be a little worse than I thought. Because we're not doing anywhere near as much damage to this guy as I thought. At least because he'll hit with you. And you are almost gone. Sadly, not quite, but almost. Holding clutch. Good miss. Your stress keeps rising and it's the healing that's the problem. We might have actually created a kind of bad team for this, to be honest. Because he's healing up a lot. But the thing is, the Blight will keep stacking out of control. Let's go for that stress heal there. I'm hoping, at least, the Blight will keep stacking out of control. There's that minus to dodge, which is really nice. Drink with the dead. That's okay. We can manage the stress there. We go with weed out again for even more Blight. He's going to spawn one of these. Oh, no. Boarding clutch. Wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Bit of bleed on you. That's a pretty hefty bleed, but it's okay. All hands on death. Oh, really? I didn't actually realize that that was a thing that you could do. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's guard you and see how that works. I don't know how guarding works with this dude. We'll try it out, though. Why not? Your marks, this will be good damage. Also put you in front, ready to be grabbed. Yeah, the blight damage is getting insane now, so this is great. We've we've stacked it to the point. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Gotta take him out, otherwise I'll keep getting healed. Blight should counteract that uh that healing though, I'm hoping. Yeah, as long as you keep taking the stress, we'll be fine. Um, yes, yeah, so I think we carry on with weed out on you to counteract the healing. And then we go with an attack on this dude for both of these guys. Oh, wait. This is bad. This is very bad. You're out of position. Okay, this might not go the way I want it to. Now that I've realized that I've kind of fucked it. <laughs> I should have just moved the anointed griffin and up, up one space. Shizer. I'm going to have to try something here that might not work very well. Think with the dead. The stress. When is it? Yeah, I'm going to say, when is it your go? There you go. Nice hit. Okay, is that you dead? No, you still got two HP left after that blight. Still getting hit for 18 a turn. You can still hit you as well, which is just fantastic. You are going to get stress checked. It's just uh, a fact of life, unfortunately. So annoying that he's one one hit off. Right, let me just try this out. Is there anything I can do here that's going to be, like, real good for this? Yes, there is. I thought so. I thought that that would work. We don't get the blight, but we get an instant kill on that dude. Which is fantastic for us. You have to move forward, dude. You're getting on my nerves not being, not being forward. Get rid of your dodge again, because your dodge is annoying. Blight is still high. It's still not great. I think we go for a party-wide heal here. Everyone needs it. And we'll probably do some stress healing here. Knocking 20 off of that should be a good a good get for us. The clutch again. We got good dodge there, though. All hands on deck. Didn't move her forward this time. She resisted. That's good. 
So let's just go for the hit on you straight away before things get sketchy. Um, we can't do that from here, so... Yeah, I think we switch over. Gives us a good stress heal. And we apply that to you for the restoration, but also for the huge stress heal. That works out quite well. We go for that for getting everyone back up to speed. Good, good. And you get another crit on this dude. Ah, no crit this time. Blight is going hard on this, but we have skipped two turns of setting up the Blight. We definitely need to get that rolling again. Good thing is we always Blight on this guy. Wait. Okay. Bad idea by me. I did not realize he healed to full upon latching. That is news to me. That I have since forgotten since the last time we fought this guy. Probably going to result in a lot of healing coming out here. 17's good. 17's good. Thank God that missed. We don't need that evil on us. He is going to heal up quite a lot here, but we're going to set up more of this. Light's invaluable. Didn't have any more on him. We need to set up like three of those in a row. Anointed's just going to take out this little dude for us. Um, I think we just go with the heal, even though the, the stress heal would be very nice. <sighs> stress check incoming very shortly. Okay, that gets rid of you. Stop with your healing. Good, good. We've gotten about... It's not even halfway down, actually. Surprisingly. All hands on deck again. Don't move us this time. But you did spawn another one of those instantly, which is very annoying. Let's just go for the attacks on this guy this time, because we know that the damage isn't going to stay on you. Definitely get some stress relief there. He's definitely going to get grabbed again. We're just going to have to accept the fact. Um, yeah, let's go with another weed out on you. That gets you up to almost, not quite 18. I think we want to swap these two around, actually, you know. I know this seems bizarre, but I'm going to swap these two around now. Because I think we want you to get captured instead. I think Nevada's more valuable to us and his stress is higher. Okay, he gets the debuff, immobilized. Ow, that hurt a bit. Only a bit, but it hurt still. Yeah, we trade out the stress dealing there. We go for the party heal again. It's a very good party heal. Good stress heal and everything there. Oh, the healing's coming in hot and quick. So we can't move forward there, so that's perfect. And that gets more blight on you. Probably should have gone for him, actually. Maybe we can fight through it? I don't know. Did he resist the blight, then? Heck. I didn't realize how high his blight resist was. 110 is kind of high. I may have made some mistakes here. I may have made some mistakes. He's on 20 blight now, though. 21's huge. I've given him way too many turns of healing here. This, this wasn't a good idea. I didn't play this right. Ow. Yeah, I didn't play this right. I should have gone for this guy first. I really wanted to get just more blight damage in with Nevada, but it didn't really work out. That's good. You're on 10. Okay, got him down to 84. That's good. The clutch is coming in, but it misses. Good stuff. Go for another weed out on you, which should get you up to 10, yeah. And then Nevada can get a little bit more on there, maybe? Did not mean to do that. It worked out, but I did not mean to use that at all. Power. 40 damage. That is what we needed. Precisely what we needed. Holy hell, because he's marked. That's why I went for that. That works out really, really well for us there. This has been one of the hardest fights we've had so far. It really has. Probably because I came in kind of ill-prepared, to be honest. But Just keep on weeding out on this guy, because he's got really, really high blight at the minute. We want to keep that going as long as possible. That's huge. In fact, he's dead, I think. I think he's dead next turn, as long as he doesn't get healing. Yes! Good, good, good. Very, very difficult. I will say, very, very difficult indeed, but we did it. We did it. We return back to town heroes in our own right. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a very stressful one, but we uh, we did manage it. 
We came out the other side feeling good. And we come back to the hamlet. Our family name was My so well regarded. Goodness. Now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Um disable transformation, repost when hit, attacks, debuff target. Do you know what? I'll take that. That sounds kind of interesting. Quickly check what we got here. Hmm. We've got a lot of money, so we can definitely buy one of these, but I really want to look for a, a really, really good one before we do. Any classes that we want to bring on? Nope. Unfortunately not. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.